If you're from an area like Northeast Ohio, you're used to seeing all the memes about the weather, such as Mother Nature be throwing out high temp like Powerball numbers, or if you don't like the weather, wait a few hours, it'll change. There are many more. The reason people always start conversations talking about the weather around here is because you never know what's gonna happen. That's especially been true this spring. If you saw last week's video, it was sunny, we're wearing t-shirts, and it, I think it got into the mid-70s, just an absolutely beautiful night for a ride, and you combine that with daylight savings and a little more sun in the evening, and it was pretty perfect. This ride here was taking place last Saturday as I'm recording this, and it got into the high 50s, so for this time of year, really, really nice weather as well. Um, the next, some of the next footage will be from St. Patrick's Day, which was on a Sunday this year. That was completely different, where it was very chilly and even though it wasn't below freezing we started getting pelted with icy snow and stuff like that so just different from day to day I've talked a little bit about the um, seasonal depression stuff and the lack of motivation on this channel this winter I'm not really sure why that kind of overcame me but it just has and now that we've had a taste of the really good weather it's making it hard to get back to some of the seasonable temperatures or even unseasonably cold temperatures last night I actually did not go on my group ride something that I almost never miss I try to schedule my life around it but I did have a lot of work to do it wasn't just the weather but the high yesterday was just into the 30s by the time we were riding it was already low 30s and by the time we would have been riding back from our stop it would have been into the 20s so it was one of those nights where I you know I made a smart decision to stay home and get the work done but you know if it had been even in the high 40s I'm guessing I would have just went and rode anyways and just tried to get catch up on I caught up on the work later in the week. So anyways, on this ride, we were doing another one of Aaron's routes where she had strung together some roads that we have never ridden before. This is out in the Brady Lake region area, whatever, right past Kent. Really, really pretty out here, as you could see. And a lot of these roads were just dead ends, but we were going down them and just like knocking them out for the Wanderer Earth app, which, you know, shows places you've never ridden before and, you know, then makes a map of all the places you haven't ridden. I've talked about that app a number of times. I really like it. It has a gamified aspect to it, too. I just, you know, a lot of people, whenever I talk about Wanderer, they're like, why not Strava heat maps? I just really like the UI of Wanderer better and the point system. And it's it's just a different way. It looks different. It's, you know, it's only about the roads you've ridden versus the roads you haven't. And the free version will take three months of your Strava data. And then after with each new ride, it'll post the new miles you got underneath it. The paid version will take in all your Strava data so you have like the whole map of everywhere you've ever ridden. Something I just like. Anyways, this is St. Patrick's Day ride, which was again a Sunday this year. You could see it's sunny right now, but we got all the seasons on this ride. Anyways, I have a tradition that started in 2020. I've been doing St. Patrick's Day rides for a while, but in 2020 when the pandemic had just hit and most things were getting closed down, me and my friend Bob started a tradition of meeting in the morning at this bridge and having a beer we weren't able to gather we weren't able to go anywhere so we all sat spaced out on that bridge it's a tradition a tradition that we have kept going this year i had to work in the morning um had to work i mean i was working i was shooting a friend's birthday party his son his son's birthday party and really good friend and it was a fun time so everybody was already out i ended up meeting them at the brewery magic city and then we rode here and you can see now weather totally different and we did stop at the bridge and have a beer just to keep the tradition going so that's my buddy bob we're the ones who started doing that and then also ben who's in this video too so yeah something we've just kept going it's really cool this is the factory that we rode through in last week's video uh, in the dark but we came out here and i took some portraits um and i have those over on instagram and some bike photos and all that stuff if you want to check it out so yeah after hitting magic city and the train bridge we rode through town and went into highland square uh this is where when things open back up me and bob usually end our day having a couple of drinks i have a lot of friends out in that area at mr zubs uh, my buddy Wes works there and he's the guy that i started some of my group rides with so we always stop by there and make it the last stop of the day so yeah just um weather's been wild today it is not even going to get out above 30 which is really frustrating i'm already about to head to another job and i'm debating whether i want to hop on my bike and load up my camera gear in the cold or if i just want to drive i know i don't know why what it is about this year i'm just 
uh, the cold just was wearing on me, the gray was wearing on me, and now having a taste of the good weather, I'm really, really getting over it. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully we have a nice April and uh, hope everybody else is getting out there and having a good time, had a good St. Patrick's Day. Thanks as always for watching. I will see you in the next video.